and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's the first time here you are welcome my name is austin well so today i'm going to do a glam transformations for you guys so if you have not yet subscribed can you subscribe click the subscribe button and press the post notifications bell to get notified of my videos whenever i post them and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment share and without more further ado let's get on with the video So everyone, the beautiful Deborah is our model for today and I am just going to proceed with the usual step which is the eyebrows. So first things first, I brush the eyebrows with a spoolie and then I am using the Davis number 18 eye pencil to line the bottom and top part of the eyebrows following the exact shape like I usually do. After that, I'm going to start filling in from the outer corner of the eyebrows going towards the inner corner using thicker strokes at the outer corner and then getting towards the inner corner of the eyebrows I use lighter strokes so that the eyebrows appear natural and at the innermost part of the eyebrows I draw thin hair like structures going upwards. To line the bottom part of the eyebrows, I am using the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee, the one which I always use and I'm getting used to that concealer, I don't know why. I line the bottom part of the eyebrows, blending in as I go to prevent creases or harsh lines afterwards. For the top part of the brows, I usually use a foundation so it's easier for me to blend in afterwards when I'm doing the whole foundation for the face. To set the eyelids, I'm using the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee, the one that I used to line the brows and this is going to serve as the eyeshadow base and I just use a very small, smaller fluffy brush to tap it. So as you all can see guys, I haven't done anything with that blue shade in that palette. So I thought today I'm going to try it out, I'm going to try something new with it. And that blue is a very very pigmented shade and I didn't use much of it because it's going to cause, it's going to make the eyes look dark. So I just tap a little amount of it at the outer corner, blending it to the inner corner. I've exhausted the orange in my palette but this will do. To blend in the blue shade which I use as my transitioning shade I'm using that orange and I'm just going to blend it in to make it more smoother to avoid harsh lines afterwards I don't know what I'm going to do now because I've exhausted the orange in my palette guys I'm going to find something new to use but I'm just going to blend that in from the outer corner going towards the inner corner and vice versa so because I really wanted the eyeshadow to pop today, to draw the cut crease, I used the Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer. An advantage of using this eyeshadow primer is it holds the eyeshadow in place, it holds them together. There are no fallouts at all. So I'm just going to tap that mustard yellow shade onto the eyeshadow primer along the crease line which I draw I have drawn earlier to continue on the mission of making the eyes pop I decided to add some glitter to it so I'm currently applying the glitter glue just at the middle part of the eyes next I tap the glitter on the glitter glue using very little force for this cause I don't want the glitter to spill all over the face it's going to look messy afterwards we all can see the way the eyes are popping all thanks to the glitter <laughs> so I am using the absolute liquid eyeliner to draw the wing eye and then connect it to the inner corner of the eyes but trust me applying eyeliner on top of glitter is very hard so if you can start with the eyeliner before the glitter 
Moving on to the face, I'm starting off with my favorite, the Fresia Super Soft Primer and I'm going to massage that onto the skin and tap it in as well and allow the primer to set before applying foundation. So for foundation today, I'm using the Mary Kay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 108 and I'm just going to apply that with a damp beauty blender. While doing this, I tap the beauty blender onto the skin, I don't drop because I don't want any creases afterwards, I want the whole base blend to be very very smooth. To highlight, I'm using the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm highlighting today with a very thin brush and I'm just going to highlight the areas around the under eyes, the areas around the bridge of her nose, the forehead and then under the mouth. I don't wait for the concealer to dry out before blending. I immediately blend it in. With the damp beauty blender which I used in blending the foundation earlier, I'm going to use that to blend out the concealer. I don't draw the concealer all the way down or around the face. I just blend it till it blends out very very smoothly. And I repeat that step for the rest of the areas where I highlight it. To set the areas where I highlighted, I'm using the Milani Mineral Compact Powder in the shade Medium. And I just set the areas around the under eyes, bridge of the nose, forehead and under the mouth. The same areas I highlighted with the Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I tap it in, I don't strap the brush around. To contour, I'm using the Usher 6 Pad Contour Palette and I just started off by contouring her cheekbone, moving on to the hairline and then I'm going to contour her nose. To do this, I use a smaller brush instead of a fluffy brush because I want the nose to appear as thin as possible. I wanted the nose to be pointed today so I use a thin brush to contour the areas around the nose on both sides. Okay, I know most of you will come for me because of this step. The lashes were supposed to come immediately after the eyeshadow, but I'm sorry. I find I find it hard blending the foundation and the concealer with the lashes on. So I just finished the whole face before applying the lashes. So forgive me guys, that's my new procedure. To set, I'm using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And her model today, she's always afraid of the setting spray. <laughs> to highlight today, I'm using the Usher's 2 in 1 eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to start off by highlighting the nose before moving to other areas, which are the cheek and the lips. So, after doing that, we're going to move on to the lipstick. Okay guys, so if you're just joining in, once again my name is Austin Well, and please if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notifications bell to get inspired of my videos, share this video, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below. For lipstick today, I'm starting off with this purple shade from Miss Lovely Beauty and I'm going to mix that with a pink as well to bring out the pop. Me today guys, thank you very very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you love this video. I also hope you love this look as much as I do. Share your thoughts, corrections, ideas, suggestions for me in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notifications and I'll be see you in my next video. Bye!